This is season two, episode 12 of my modular journey. And today we are going to talk about some endorphins modules, uh, starting with the endorphins multiband processor, also known as the golden master. It has three frequency bands uh, with boost cut for EQ, a brick wall limiter as a compressor as a second mode, and then the, a dynamic enhancement. Uh, and the, there are these three, three enhance buttons here, which act as, like if you short press them, it's a mute of that band. And if you long press it, it enables the compressor. Let me get this in the rack and we'll, we'll fire it up and, and play with it some. All right, the Endorphins Golden Master is in the rack. It'll eventually go over there at the end of the chain, but for now it's here. Uh, let me power this guy up. You can see I already have some, some circuits figured out here that we're just gonna use. No sense walking through all those again. So uh, it has three modes. Here's the mode button down here, three modes. It has blue, it has red, and it has fuchsia. So blue is the three band EQ. So here's the high band. Uh, here's the middle band and here's the low band. And if you tap the button once, it mutes that band so you won't hear anything. Uh, and if you long press it for more than a second and a half, it turns on the compressor. So it's, it's kind of a brighter light uh, with, the, with the compressor enabled than it is it just muted. So you can kind of see the difference there. And when you go into uh, into compressor mode, now it's uh, this is the least amount of compression is down here at the lows, of course. And the higher you go, the more compression it gets until it hits the hits a brick wall and starts really sounding pretty crunchy. Uh, I'm finding that when I turn up the the low end on some of these oscillators I have, it gets really distorted, uh, even though nothing's clipping anywhere outside the rack. So that means it must be just devouring itself inside. So I tend to keep the compressor for this at a low side here. Some of these, I, like the middle, I'll raise up higher, but, the, the, but these two I'll can usually keep kind of low. So in the, in the fuchsia mode, it is similar to the other modes where it, it's, it's low, medium, and high, but the higher you raise the, the knob in this mode, the, the wider this fe the stereo field becomes for that band. So you can make the highs pretty wide stereo. You can make the lows kind of like kicks and things like that. You can keep them all pretty centered by, by lowering the dynamics range. And the same with the uh, mediums. Uh, I'm gonna use the old oscillator here, the same one I've been using all along. Uh, what I'm gonna do at the end here is I'm changing from, uh, everything is coming out of the mixer into uh, Milky, Milky Way, which is coming up next, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to just jump out of Milky Way over to um, Golden Master and then out of Golden Master to the mix. So hang on a second while I wire that up in a way that these wires are not going to be bothering me. The idea here is to try to keep the wires out of the way of the module so you can still see the interface. But we'll, we'll play with this as we go here. Let me, let me turn up some sound. So right now this is the EQ mode, the blue mode here and it is at uh, lowest settings for, for all three bands. So let me raise the high. So it's gonna act just like an EQ, so you, you know what to expect. Same with the mids. And then the lows. turn down the volume so I can speak. So I like the lows kind of punching through. So I keep the lows a little high here. The, the mids is where you can take out some of that, that harshness. Unless you like the harshness. And of course the highs. And now if you want to mute the lows, you just tap that button and it cuts them out. Instant mute. Cut out the middles, cut out the highs, and now the thing is quiet. Just the lows. So now I'm going to switch it into the red mode, which is the compressor. So now in the compressor mode, let me turn all these knobs down. 
So now again, we have the three, the same three bands, but now we're going to enable the compression on like the, the, the lows. We turn on the, hold it for one and a half seconds. I've enabled the compressor. Let me enable all three, in fact. So the higher it goes, the more compression is applied. So you can hear it starting to crush the top. So I kind of like the mids being crushed because they're annoying to begin with. I can back off some of the highs. And now we go into the stereo field mode here. So let me turn them all the way down so you can hear everything's kind of it down the center. Let me start with, let me start with the lows. Can you hear how it's distorting a little bit there? Let me switch back to compressor. compressor. So see the there's a point where you where the volume of the lows start distorting everything. All right, back to the stereo field. Keep that about the middle, I guess. And then let's look at the at the center at the mids. So you can hear that, right? You can hear that spreading out. So it's like it seems like in the uh, to the far left it's centered everything's everything's down the middle to the to the center you have a nice stereo field but above that I think I think what the manual says is that it it takes more of this more of the center and chops it up and spreads it out so that way it's it's it spreads it um, builds a bigger dynamic field and then of course highs So if everything's playing together, if everything's playing together, you probably don't hear the, the crackling distortion. And now let me kick in the reverb. So that's basically it for the Endorphins uh, Golden Master. Uh, it does exactly what it says it does. It has three functions, uh, EQ, compression, and dynamics, uh, uh, stereo field enhancement. Uh, it has three bands, low, medium, and high. It has uh, compressor modes, it has mute modes. Uh, all of them are, are pretty easy to use. It's in a six HP uh, package, and it was about $209, which is the same for Milky Way over here. Uh, also came in on the January 18th shipment. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is it has a VCA, a CV point here where it is, so zero, zero volts is, is silence. If you feed zero volts in here, it, sh it makes everything quiet. Uh, and then if you give it five volts, it's full volume. So you can actually uh, control even the volume of your mastering module from another source. All right, so that is truly it this time for the uh, Endorphins multiband processor. Uh, coming up next is the Endorphins Milky Way, so stay tuned for that.